Victoria is back. Victoria comes like maybe once a month. And she lets me do whatever I want on her nails, which is pretty fun. I'm going to put my finger protector on that protects me from calluses from holding my drill. And it also protects me from any product that are on my brushes getting on my skin. Because you should know that overexposure, even to the same product you use all the time, you can develop an allergic reaction to it. And I did it one time. And because I've kept it covered since then, I nipped it in the bud and haven't had a problem since. So I love those finger protectors. And also it's mainly for the callus that was building up. Remember when you were in school and you would write all the time and you get that little callus on your finger, that little bump? That's what I was starting to get from holding my drill. Okay, so with that out of the way, Victoria said do whatever I want. So I wanted to choose the color from my line of gels coming out April 29th at 10 a.m. Guys, and I want to use Blood of the Queen on Victoria. So I wanted to do a couple of glitter nails encapsulated. So I chose a couple of the glitters that I picked up recently from Nail Supply. I thought they would offset the color perfectly. They don't match perfectly, but I thought they would offset it and look good sitting next to it. And if you hang in there, I was not wrong at all. So I'm going to put a little bead of clear, clear acrylic down first. Then I'm going to tap the glitter on there. And then I'm going to totally encapsulate it with clear acrylic. So here it is. Blood of the Queen. Love the logo. Love the bottle. Love the, the color cap. Love the color. of the. I love everything about this gel. I love it. I love the consistency, the creaminess, the pigmentation. It's like everything I look for in a gel polish is in this. Am I just saying this because it's my gel line? Yeah, but I'm also saying it because it's facts, okay? I wouldn't have went with this shitty company. Come on, you guys. This is a dream of mine coming true here. Thank you to Sundara Nails for bringing it all to fruition. So I'm going to do some old school flowers. And how I do these flowers, you guys, picture it as like a V, the letter V, as in Victoria. But they're messy, and then you just want to come out the top to make the top of the petal just a little messy, like, like the edge of a petal. Then I'm going to do some of them old school lines coming out with some dots. You can never go wrong with these. And also with it coming close to summer, they're a little hibiscus-y, if you will. You know what I mean? And you could do so much with these types of flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the flowers just a little bit using black to give them some definition and some um, just some depth and definition. And then I'm going to go back and add golden platinum glitter to the centers and just dot it around the nail a little bit too to tie it all together. And after a top coat, here's a final look.